welcome back everyone so today in this video we will discuss about a very common problem that comes on your windows 10 and windows 11 so this is the uefi partition problem that comes with the blue screen and it says recovery your pc device need to be repaired with some kind of error code that can be different depending on the problem so i will be sharing four different method and make sure that you apply all of them because by the end of this video any of the method will surely work for you and fix your problem so let's quickly get started and we will start with the first and the easiest method where you need to unplug all your external devices so if you have connected any kind of external mouse keyboard hard disk ssd usb printer unplug it from your laptop or pc and once unplugged restart the computer again and check back if the problem has been fixed and if not then we can move with the next step where we need to start the computer in the advanced option so to start the computer in the advanced option you need to forcefully shut down the computer by pressing and holding the power button until it gets shut down and once it gets shut down again press the power button to start the computer and as soon as you see the windows or the manufacturer logo you need to again press and hold the power button to forcefully shut down you need to repeat this step for three times and once you repeat it for three times the next time you will be getting the repairing screen and then you will finally get this startup option page and once you come to this page you have to click on troubleshoot then click on advanced options and then click on command prompt now many of you might not be able to come to this page so for that you need to proceed with the third method so you can skip this method and move with the third method where you will have to create a bootable usb but if you are able to come to this page the next what you have to do you have to run few command here and all these command you will find in the description you can also copy and paste so the first command will be boot rec space forward slash fix mbr hit the enter key now the next command will be boot sect space forward slash nt60 space sys again hit the enter key and the next command will be boot rec space forward slash fix boot hit the enter key again and the last command will be boot rec space forward slash rebuild bcd again hit the enter key and this will be scanning all disk for windows installation and it may take some time and once it will be completed it will say successfully scan windows installation and the operation completed successfully all right so once this command is completed type exit then click on turn off your pc and again try to restart the computer and on my end it seems that the computer is loading up and so i got the login screen all right so probably this will fix your problem but in case if this method doesn't work for you as well or if you are not able to come to the startup option then in the next step what you will have to do you will have to create a bootable usb of your windows 10 or windows 11 whichever you're using so for that you can use a different computer where you can create a bootable usb and in case if you want to create from your mobile phone then i have already created a video that how you can create a bootable usb using your android phone you can watch that video and make a bootable usb but if you have any other laptop or pc the next what you will have to do connect a usb that should be at least of 8 gigabyte to another computer where you want to create a bootable usb and then open any of your favorite browser and now let's say if you have windows 11 then you have to type windows 11 iso download hit the enter key click on the first link of microsoft and this kind of screen will be coming up now here you have to click on create windows 11 installation media so click on download now and once it downloaded click on the downloaded file then click on yes and this setup page will be now loading up saying getting a few things ready so here is scroll down to the bottom then click on accept choose your language choose the addition uncheck this option use the recommended option for this pc then click on next we are creating a usb flash drive so keep the first option checked then click on next and it says we can't find a usb flash drive so you have to make sure that you connect your 
usb that you want to make bootable all right so let me quickly connect it again once i have reconnected i will click on refresh drive list and this will be automatically detected okay so make sure that your usb has been detected here and the right usb has been detected and then finally click on next and the downloading will now be started now this may take some time so you will have to wait here until it's all been completed and once it will be completed it will say your usb flash drive is ready so click on finish and now your usb is ready to use so just insert this usb back from this computer and connect to the targeted computer where you have the problem and once you have connected you need to start the computer in the bios mode so that you can change the boot priority order to this usb so the next time when you start the computer it can boot with that particular bootable usb so depending on your motherboard on the manufacturer the bios key can be different like f2 f9 escape or the delete key so you can look in the google find out the bios key and once you come in the boot manager you can change the boot order like i'm on the virtual machine so i will select the usb device and the windows installation page will now be up now once you see this kind of windows setup page of windows 10 or 11 what you will have to do simply close it then click on yes and remove your usb from your computer that you connected and let the computer come up so many times it's been seen that just by following this simple step the computer problem get fixed of the uefi partition okay so you can try this method but in case if this also doesn't work then finally we have to go with the last method that will be reinstalling the windows 10 or 11 without losing data okay so for that again you need to connect your bootable usb to your computer connect it then go to the bios change the boot order select the usb device and wait until the installation screen comes up and once it comes up choose your language time and currency format then you have to click on next click on install now if you know your product key then you can enter it or simply click on i don't have a product key and it will be automatically detected choose the windows edition try to choose the same edition that you had before select it then click on next check the box click on next click on custom now this is the most important page where you have to be very careful first you need to find out your drive your partition where your operating system was being installed so my drive zero is the partition where my os was being installed that is my primary drive so you have to select the same drive without deleting and without formatting okay so select the same drive then click on next and it will save the partition you have chosen contain file from a previous windows installation these file and folder will be moved to a folder name windows.old you would be able to access windows.old but you won't be able to use your previous version of windows so what will happen that this new window will be overwritten on the previous windows so you won't be able to access the old version of the windows operating system but you would be able to access all the data that you had before so you will not be losing any of your data so just click on ok and the installation will now be started so you need to follow the instruction here and complete the installation and once the installation will be completed i will show you that how you have to access windows.old and all your data that you had on this computer so let's wait until this installation has been completed all right so finally the windows 11 has been reinstalled now and now let me quickly show you how you have to access your old data and windows.old folder so click on your file explorer folder once it comes up from the left in menu option click on this pc then open local disk c and now here you will find a folder by the name windows.old and if you double click on it and then if you go to the users and just open up your user account so you will find all your data inside this location so you can find all your downloads and if you go back you can find all the items that you had on your desktop in the pictures in the videos so everything can be accessed now from this windows.old folder so this is the last and the final method in case if nothing works for you then you can go with this method so that's all guys for today hopefully this complete list of solution will surely work for you 
and if yes do not forget to like and subscribe and i see you in the next video bye bye